<sighs> All right, you little bastards. So I was just sitting here having a conversation with Kevin Hart and then I remembered that Gearbox has just released a hotfix to buff a bunch of weapons in the game that no one's using because the plasma coil is just fucking the matter really hard. So lo and behold, I went to try out some of the new weapons and I want to show one off to you in this video to make your asshole gape 14 inches wide. And of course, I'm talking about the one and only Slow Hand from Borderlands 2, which got a major glow up. So before we move on, let's get the really boring stuff out of the way so that YouTube pushes my content in the algorithm. So firstly, it's a Hyperion shotgun. Secondly, it has a hentai barrel. And thirdly, it does splash damage. All right, Redditors, get your power creep comments ready because if you want to get this weapon, you're going to need DLC 1, the handsome jackpot. And yes, you are going to have to play the game for this. Go to the Impound Deluxe. We're going to fast travel to the beggar's birth area, which funnily enough is actually where I was conceived. And we're going to be killing a guy called DGen3. All right, lads, I'm feeling generous today. I'm not going to make you wait till the 10 minute mark to find out where this bad boy is on the map. He's right here all the way in the corner. This is where you'll find the dude you're going to be killing. And when you get here, he's a little bit of an introvert. So you're going to have to knock on the door without touching it, as you can see. <clears throat> and there you go. He's coming out. And there he is right there. He's a robot. And he's fucking my shit up. Holy shit. All right. So what you're going to do next is kill him like so. And when he dies, he's going to drop... Um, Nothing. So the next thing you're gonna do is go to Borderlands 3 save it. All right, fuck it. Let's do the gameplay test. I think this thing's gonna tear some pussies wide open, so why not do it right now? now I'm warning you guys, this is content worthy of OnlyFans, but I'm gonna give it to you for free today because I am getting desperate and you guys desperately need content. So here it is. So after receiving its buff, as you can see, with the right ASC elements, this thing just does crazy amounts of damage. And you might be noticing too, it does splash damage. So that means if you're playing Zane, you actually have splash immunity, which means this thing can't kill. All right, well, it can actually kill you. All right, so once you've swapped over to a character that actually has splash immunity, like Moe's, you'll be able to fire this thing at the floor. Oh, wait, no, I forgot Moe's doesn't have it either. So if it wasn't already obvious, you definitely don't want to get up close and personal with this gun because it's very dangerous. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, it's not the best weapon. As you can see, it is struggling on True Guardian Takedown. But then again, no one actually plays that anymore. So let's go do some content that everyone plays. Good evening, gamers, and welcome to Athena. So the only place that resembles Burning Man, in where everything and everyone gets fucked at the same time. So as you guys can see, this thing is actually really good when you're not in the Guardian Takedown. But as you can see, that splash radius is so big that it's just killing me really fast but again if you're able to keep your distance from the enemies that you're shooting at this weapon can have some pretty good potential but honestly this thing isn't doing as good on Moe's as I thought it would do especially since she for some reason doesn't have any splash immunity so if you're a Zane main out there this is probably going to be the weapon for you instead thank you guys for watching this video remember I am giving away 17 ps5s through bitcoin currency in exactly four seconds so if you haven't already liked the video Video, then your mum's gonna be ashamed of you. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. Please take care of one another, stay safe out there, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.